Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to some more Hearthstone, continuing our Curse of Nax playthrough here. We are going on to the third battle and hopefully going to be doing... He's a giant spider. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully we can be doing well, but apparently we're facing a giant spider. This massive spider queen bursts endless spiderlings to feed on the corpses of interlopers and the ability... <laughs> Return a random enemy minion to your opponent's hand for three mana. That sounds ridiculous. That's what it sounds. I've actually played here before, and I did not do well. And the, but the reason I didn't decide to post it for you guys is not because I lost, because I'm okay with losing. If I wasn't okay, I wouldn't tell you I lost. But the game was ridiculously laggy and unbearably annoying to play because of how laggy it was. Like, I would use my hero ability, and then it would take for absolute ever for it to actually, like, register that I clicked it. And then it would, it, it was just bad. But, uh, so she is basically a zoo player. She sends out tons of monsters all the time. And it's really tough to combat with my control deck. Because her ability, which only costs 3 mana, she can take a minion, a random minion on my side of the field and return it to my hand. So if I put down, you know, one or two monsters, which is what I usually do with my control deck, then she can just send them right back. And that can be a big issue. That can definitely be a big issue. So we're gonna we're gonna run the nerd deck, the zoo deck that is completely unoriginal and everyone runs all the damn time. Uh, soul fire. Yeah, I don't want soul fire right now. I'll wait. I'll grab soul fire later on. But yeah, so we're gonna hopefully run this spider down into the ground. We've got the knife juggler and the flame imp. Knife juggler is a great turn one card if you have coin, but I don't have the coin, so I can't use it. Mostly. Mostly painless. I'll get right on it. I love the flame imp. Uh-oh, she's coining up. What you gonna do with your coin? What you gonna do, big spider lady? You're gonna put down a web spinner. Oh! Adds a random beast card. Adds a random beast card to your hand. I like it. I like that a whole lot. We're gonna throw down our homeboy, the knife juggler. Too bad we don't have another minion to throw down with it. But, uh... Yeah, you know, I'm not real afraid of this thing. I'm just gonna try and rush her down. That's how you, that's how you play Zoo, right? You don't do any board clearing. You just rush them right down the face. I get myself a Soul Fire as well. Well, 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 well. We can go with the Scarlet Crusader. It's gonna have Divine Shield, or we can go with the Shattered Sun Cleric. I think we go with the Shattered Sun Cleric, and this is why. With the Shattered Sun Cleric. That, that, that's a nice ability. With the Shattered Sun Cleric, if she does her ability, which is Web Wrap, and which returns a random minion uh, that I have on the field to my hand, if it returns her back to back to my hand, I can throw her back down and continuously keep giving off the friendly uh, minion buff, which is just a great buff. But let's smack her in the face a few times. It appears that whatever lagging issues I had seemed to be gone. It was unbearable. Has anyone had that while playing Hearthstone, where basically... You know, just throwing down a minion takes for absolute ever. Doing anything just takes for absolute ever. I'm glad that seems to be sorted out. Well, let's go with the iron, the iron dwarf boy, and we're gonna throw it on. We're gonna throw it onto our knife juggler here. That I think we're, we could let's sacrifice the flame imp because once again, if she does the web wrap and sends a minion back in there, I'd rather have the sun. The Shattered Sun Cleric be there on the field. So we're going to get rid of that annoying thing. Keep our Cleric on the field as well as our Knife Juggler who keeps getting buffs, which I like. Yeah, I like all the buffs. And we're rushing her down really quickly. Oh no, now she's hissing. And she sent the Sun Cleric back. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. And here comes another Web Spinner. Well, things aren't looking so good for you. It looks like Zoo is just too broken for her to be able to catch up. So, let's put down the Knife Juggler. Which will get rid of that thing. And let's put down the Cleric. Now we're about to hit her for 2 damage. That's GG. That's GG right there. That was... Wow. <laughs> Zoo is so much, is such a broken deck. It is such a broken deck. It is ridiculous. This is not over. Puny mortal. All right, I've unlocked uh, Naburian eggs, or Nerubian eggs. I'm sorry, I had the B and the R mixed up right there. So that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat, pretty neat. Well, I think we're going to continue the episode on, considering that was only five minutes. Uh-oh. 
sorely mistaken. All right, so I've got myself a legendary now, which is that spider chick I just beat, which destroy any minion damaged by this minion. Oh, whoa, class challenges, rude and drogue. You can also attempt the insanely difficult heroic arachnid quarter. I don't know what this means. I don't use the druid or the rogue. Huh, so that's like a reward I just got. All right, all right, that's fancy. That's that's fancy schmancy. Well, we could end off the episode here now that I realize there's no actual boss for us to finish off. But I think we're going to end the episode off here, and then there's some different things we can do. So let me go back here. We have the class challenges, which challenges, I think, to go through and beat uh, the Curse of uh, Nax saying normal mode or whatever with a certain class, which could work out pretty cool. Or we can try heroic, which apparently we pretty difficult. It says, uh, Kaltazad, or Kaltazad has drastically improved his dungeon is ready for round two. Heroic is very difficult and not for the faint of heart, which we could end up trying that out. That would probably be pretty difficult, but I think it'd be pretty fun. We could try out, uh, we can try taking our warrior back in there. And for those of you guys that are wherever wondering as to how I run my warrior that I used in most of the videos you guys have seen, we can, uh, show you right here. And that's her, that's the deck. You can just screenshot that or you can um, uh, do whatever you want with it, I guess. You can pause and look at it. We got Inner Rage, got two Executes, a Shield Slam, two Whirlwinds, two Fiery War Axes, two Slams, two Armor Smiths, a Cruel Taskmaster, uh, two Shield Blocks, two Chillwind Yetis, uh, two Corcon Elites, uh, Magishan Warden, it's the only Taunt card I have, uh, a Brawl. Or two brawls actually, two Ezra Drakes, uh, Golden Argent Commander. I like that card because it's golden. That's the only reason it's there. Uh, Karen Bloodhoof, uh, Illidan Storm Rage, the Black Knight, Gore Howl, and of course Grimash Hellscream. Uh, basically, the whole point of this deck is to it's it's control. You control it. You basically have you continuously continue to give yourself armor. To, you guys have tons of armor. You survive well into the late rounds. And by that point, you have a bunch of, you know, four cost minions out. For example, you've got the Yetis, you've got the Corcon Elites, you've got the Warden out for taunting, you've got the Argent Commander and Karen Bloodhoof, Illidan Stormrage, who of course can, you know, summon a bunch of people. This deck is, the deck was originally helped put together by Wildcat. Then I switched out probably 10 of the cards for stuff I like, and now it's just kind of my own deck, so... Oh, it's a pretty good deck overall, and if you guys want to try it out, that is it. If you're wondering about the zoo deck, I just completely destroyed that thing with, well, it's a zoo deck. You can find these anywhere on the internet. <laughs> it's ridiculously unbalanced in my opinion, but uh, real quick though, I want to take a quick peek and see where are those spider cards. Do they just show up? We un we've unlocked them. I'm not sure if they're showing up. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, there's our, yep, here we go. We got some new cards. Here's our Haunted Creeper cards that we just unlocked. I don't know, maybe I can put together a Hunter deck involving involving them. That sounds like fun. Although they are beasts, and the other ones we got the Nerubian Egg and the Nebubar Weblord are not. So, and those are the only new cards we've gotten so far. What do we got back here? Oh, Mind Control Tech. I didn't realize I had that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a rating. And I will see you guys with the next Hearthstone video. We'll see what we do. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Rate the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.